What's going on you guys? What's up? What to do? Welcome back for another video. It's been a few days since I've said that. Actually, um, don't think I've uploaded for like three or four days, which feels really weird because I've been so consistent lately. But um, actually at the end of last week, Christian actually disenrolled or like unenrolled uh, from his school. We're having a little fiasco right now trying to get him enrolled into a new school. There's a whole like story time behind that. Um, but yeah, he's been with me 24 seven. So I had to put a little halt on the videos, but I'm back. Um, the number one series you guys have been loving is my shred fitness series. And I am so happy that you love seeing this type of content because health and fitness is all my life has been revolved around lately. I've just been working on my girl boss Academy courses and 100% of my mindset and my focus has been going to being strict on my cut. I'm so excited to let you guys know that I've made so much progress these past four weeks, so many mental gains and broke through a lot of like mental barriers that really held me back before in the past. I could do a whole video on that side of things if you guys would like, because not only food and diet and exercise really go into having a full body, like weight loss, mental transformation. There's also a lot that you have to deal with internally. And I mentioned to you guys in another previous video that I have completely overcame binge eating after struggling with it for like I want to say like eight to 10 years ever since high school. It was really, really bad. And that's also something I'm really proud of. So I'd love to do another full like shred episode, sit down, like chit chat kind of video on a lot of these other like mental topics if you guys are interested. But I wanted to bring you today a full day of eating for fat loss. A lot of you keep asking for more full days of eating with new recipes because I'm such a creature of habit and I always show on my Instagram certain salads and like tofu and stuff that I'm having. But you guys want to see a little change up in the meals that I'm having. So it's almost 3 p.m. You guys know I do intermittent fasting. I'm about to have my first meal, so I thought I would just walk you through what I'm having. Um, I'll eat from three to probably like nine. I'm still having like 1,700 calories, so I am dropping weight, but I'm like dieting on really high calories, which is something I absolutely love, which my coach Leah implements. She's not whatsoever about like dieting on super low calories. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna walk you guys through everything that I eat for today. Um, my four weeks of my cut is now over. Um, it stops every Friday. So yesterday actually marked four weeks and I'm down a little over nine pounds. So I'm feeling honestly so amazing. Like we're gonna go so much more in depth into my progress. So we'll just get into the meals right now, but I'm feeling so good and I'm really proud of myself for sticking out this cut because if you've been around for a while, I've tried two or three other fitness series in the past and I've just completely bailed out on them and I'm not doing that this time. I've fully committed to myself and the results are showing and like I'm just feeling amazing. All right, so let's get into what I'm eating. Perfect timing because I do want to include a grocery haul in this video. The FedEx guy actually dropped this off around like noon today and I was already like getting all glam to film this video and I knew I wanted to share with you guys not only a full day of eating but some of my staple groceries as well. All right, so if you've never ordered your groceries or like your household items through Thrive Market, first off, what are you doing? Because you're wasting tons of money. They actually sell all of their products at wholesale cost. They cut out the middleman. They are super, super affordable. You guys know I literally only talk about super budget friendly things on my channel. Um, so yeah, they sent me a goodie package. I want to say like literally a year ago. If you've been on my channel that long, it was like a meal prep video. And then I actually decided to sign up for the year long membership. Um, that's the way they do it. It's kind of like Costco. You'll just pay a pretty low fee and that will get you access to being able to shop on their site for the entire year. And then you're able to access those super low cost on every single product. Um, so that's really cool. They don't just have like, they do have tons of food and cooking and kitchen supplies, but they also have household supplies as well. So yeah, I'm constantly ordering new stuff for myself and for my son just because it's the most like budget friendly and like cost effective. They also have tons of products that are like limited edition or like specialty products that you would not find at a normal like grocery store, Kroger, like Trader Joe's. Um, so yeah, I just did an order. I made this order like a week and a half ago. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what my staple products are that I pick up all the time for myself and Christian. Also, you guys know I am huge on advocating for like incredible coupons and discounts for my subscribers. I'm being, I'm known to like go back and forth with companies like if we partner up on a video and they're like, oh, we're gonna give your subscribers 10% off our site. I'm like, they need 20%, they need 25%. Thrive is probably the best in terms of like sponsorship, sorry to anyone else I've worked with, but check the description box. They are gonna give you guys $60 of free groceries. 60 bucks. Like that's incredible. So you're gonna get $20 off your first three orders. I will have that link down below. Huge thank you to them. Thrive Market truly does appreciate my audience and my subscribers and I 
freaking love working with companies who are incredible, who realize that you guys are on a budget, but that you still want to try their products. So please go ahead and use that link. It always helps me out. So I'm able to keep working with companies and I really appreciate it guys. So I wanted to just, like I said, if you want to make your first order or you use that link and you've never shopped on the site before, this is some stuff that Christian and myself really like. So first off, they have the Bragg's liquid aminos for super cheap. Um, a lot of you are telling me that you couldn't find this anywhere, but it's a really great alternative to soy sauce with a lot less sodium and a lot better macros. Also, I usually just pick up a few of these different pastas because Christian is so into pasta right now. I've already put a few of them away, but these are like $1.88 on their site. You cannot beat the cost. I'll just throw a little Parmesan cheese on there, or sometimes I'll do red sauce. I like to get this one from their site. I've repurchased it two or three times. It's the tomato basil. It's incredible. I believe it's organic. Yeah, authentic, premium quality. Always pick up a few things of jasmine rice. These are super easy to make. You can just throw them in the microwave within 90 seconds. These are also really good for some of like the meal prep videos I've done. If you don't want to make rice in the actual rice cooker, just get like a few of these little packs. Also this I haven't tried yet, but it looked really good. It's the gluten-free brown rice pasta. I actually made a cold pasta in one of my previous meal preps and I wanted to try like a new bow tie kind. So picked that up. Also just some brown jasmine rice. Picked up one or two of those. Again, just pop them in the microwave, some veggies and your protein of choice on the side. Super, super easy. Um, also went ahead and picked up two of the organic tomato creamy tomato soup, and I believe I got two vegetable broths as well. I might have already put those away, but that's for a future meal video for you guys as well. Then I also just picked up these for Christian. These right here are actually not the healthiest. I just kind of got these for convenience, and they're super, super cheap. I think these are literally like a buck on their site. You can't beat it. Also, I've been looking everywhere for the chocolate PB2. Um, so this is just the premium powdered peanut butter. This will be really good for shakes or to put on rice cakes. Um, since it's super macro-friendly, a lot lower calorie and macros than regular peanut butter so something like this and then also like the liquid aminos are considered specialty items so a lot of normal grocery stores won't have this stuff so that's something cool about shopping with thrive is that they have a huge selection then i just also picked up some of the cheesy ravioli for christian i got like three or four cans of that then also i got this nativia like chocolate spread which christian already opened and took a bite of earlier and ripped off the label on the front, but this is another like specialty item. This is so, so, so bomb. It's a little bit higher in macros. So this is for like, you know, those treat yourself days. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for this week's haul. All right, guys, let's get into what I ate today. So like I said, I start eating around like two to 3 p.m. because I'm utilizing intermittent fasting, which has worked incredible for me. So the first thing I just went and picked up when I got my nails done was a grande iced Americano. I do add a tiny bit of cream and two pumps of vanilla syrup. You can always do sugar-free or whatever flavor you like, and then I ask them to blend it. It tastes a little bit more like a frappuccino this way, and I find that when it expands, it's a little bit more filling, but you're still getting the espresso shots, so I personally find that I get a ton of energy out of it, and it's just like my go-to drink. Then before my first meal, I always have my Royal Queen fat burner since I am on my 12-week cut, um, and I also have the T21 as well. These are both just incredible at helping curb appetite and increasing my mental focus throughout the day, and also really just helping with appetite control and hormone fluctuation overall. Um, I always have those linked down below if any of you guys are interested or you're in a fat loss phase. I highly recommend First Form has been incredible for me. So first meal of the day, I decided to do a Dave's Killer Bread Bagel. This was my first time actually trying these. I've tried the toast before, but the bagels, oh my God, incredible. So I chose to get the multigrain. I believe it was 260 calories for the whole bagel. I'll list the carbs and the macros down below. Um, but I'm just going to put some avocado and tomato on there along with this everything but the bagel seasoning. Everyone has been raving about this from Trader Joe, so I wanted to pick it up and see what all the hype was about. Turns out it's amazing. It's just a blend of like minerals and um, seasonings. It's got like garlic, salt, pink Himalayan salt, black pepper all mixed together. So what I did is I just cut up an avocado and I'm just going to go ahead and mash half of it onto both slices of the bagel. Sorry for this like weird angle here. It was like no lighting, not like good lighting or anything in my kitchen. So you know. Uh, and I'm in a different outfit because, let's get real, I filmed this full day of eating before that whole grocery clip the next morning, so we're just bundling this all together, you know. Uh, not perfect over here on my channel, but I'm just putting some tomato on top, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of that everything but the bagel seasoning on top. I also decided to do 100 grams of an organic pear, which I just picked up from Trader Joe's as well when I got the seasoning. That was really good. And yeah, this meal was actually bomb. I could have this every day. I think I'm gonna actually include this into my like meal routine because I'm such a creature of habit with other stuff that I eat, but I ended up loving it, so I will definitely make it again. 
Then for an afternoon snack, I went with a Think Thin bar. This was the s'mores flavor, but I also really like the double chocolate and the peanut butter. Um, again, I just got these at Trader Joe's. I think they were like two bucks per bar and they do have 10 grams of protein. Also wanted to just let you guys know some drinks that I really love whenever I'm on a cut or in a fat loss phase. Obviously, they're not the healthiest, and yes, they are processed, but if you're in a prep or something, there's no calories. I just think they're really good. If you want to add stevia or something, you can. The sparkling ice ones have been my favorite for like a year. Also, I ended up having one of these bars for dessert later. I don't know why this clip is not at the end, but these are just the Yasso frozen yogurt bars. Um, they're so good. These are the chocolate chip cookie dough. They're only 100 calories per bar. I find these, I believe, at Albertsons, and this is like my little snack for the end of the day. Also later in the day, I just ended up making this protein French toast, which I did show in my last video. So I just threw in this exact same clip here because it's really easy to make and I just literally duplicated the recipe. So you're gonna need a baking protein, some egg whites, some strawberries or berries on top of your choice, whatever micronutrients you want. I ended up using the Walden Farms pancake syrup because there's no calories, but I do still find it very tasty. It doesn't taste like gross or chemically, even though it has no calories basically. And then as always, I'm using the level one protein by First Form. This is a premium baking protein. So you can actually use a full scoop of it for a meal replacement with like a frozen banana, some almond milk. It tastes amazing. There's 23 grams of protein and five grams of BCAAs per scoop, but it's actually also made to be a baking protein. So you can actually use this for multiple uses. You can make like chocolate oat bars or like any type of pancakes or waffles. It's not just made to go in protein shakes, which is really great. Um, the cost on it is pretty good. It's cheaper than like other huge tubs of protein from like GNC and stuff. I believe it's like $39.99, um, but this will last you months. Ice cream sandwich flavor has been my favorite. If you've been on my channel for a while, I've mentioned it billions of times. All those first form products will be listed down below if you guys do want free shipping or you want to try something new. Um, but to make the French toast, it's really, really easy. We're doing one cup of egg whites. I'm mixing in some cinnamon. I ended up doing only half a cup of the ice cream sandwich protein because it does expand and it actually makes the bread expand too whenever you cook the French toast. So you really do not need that much. I probably could have even done like just a third of a cup. So I'm just whisking everything together and then I'm gonna take this Sarah Lee bread. It's actually only 40 calories per slice. It's a multi-grain bread. And it's pretty thin uh, because it's a little bit lower calories and macros, but once you dip it in this mixture, it completely expands whenever you cook it, and it's amazing. Christian really likes this meal as well, so I'm able to just make doubles of it. And there he is, popping in the fridge. <laughs> you just wanna cook each side literally just for like a minute or two, drizzle some pancake syrup on there, pop on some strawberries, some cinnamon, and it's so good. Like I could have this so many times. It's absolutely incredible, really macro friendly. I love it. It takes like a total of like 10 minutes to make and it's a staple meal for us. Then for my last meal of the day, I know this clip is like real pathetic. I am so sorry. I went to The Habit. Again, you already know if you follow me on Instagram, I love going to The Habit to get a salad. Um, my salad actually looked not as pathetic as this one, but this was the only like clip I could find online of the salad I get. It's just a plain Caesar salad with croutons, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and then I actually brought cooked tofu so I don't have to add like a beef patty on top because I'm still trying to not eat meat. I did also ask for extra grilled onions, which you don't see here in the picture, but that's just a salad I have all the time. The macros are great. I just ended up going out with, to eat with my mom and Christian, and I was just trying to enjoy the family time. I forgot to pull out my camera and actually film the salad, so I wanted to give you guys some kind of a little visual, even though this picture just like looks pathetic looking at it. But yeah, that was my last meal for the day. I ate about 1,775 calories or no, 1,735 calories total. I'm still dieting on like really high calories, which I really like, and I've been dropping weight. I am almost have lost nine pounds in my cut, and it's um, Friday, we'll have marked week four, so I'm currently in week five, feeling so, so, so amazing. Okay, when is this clip of the salad gonna end? Sorry guys, I'm doing this voiceover, and I'm like, why is the clip so long? But yeah, that's everything I ate in a full day. Please follow me on Instagram to see more of my daily meals. You can also click on the screen here for other meal prep or full day of eating videos. I would really love to have your guys' support along my journey, and thank you so much for just all the encouragement and love lately. It's appreciated more than you guys know. Please be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.